Sorry. I Today, sure. more than 2 million people have died in that region. Uh, Libya, the most successful and most prosperous country in Africa, is no longer. Yes. And now we have slave trade of black people there now. That country is finished. Iraq is finished. Syria is finished. Afghanistan, finished. And Al Jazeera was at the back of this. To the extent that this is how much they went to the propaganda of going into studio and creating a green screen and creating what is called Green Square in Libya to make it look like it had been taken over by the rebels a week before it was taken over by rebels, which made a lot of the soldiers of the Iraqi government just give up, walk away from their posts. And that's how the... Uh, this uh, is stuff that can Tripoli, be verified. This is stuff that's there to read. <laughs> you understand? So I, I want to say this... Uh, so if they can go to those extents yeah. to remove Gaddafi, they can create a studio where they create lies. What then happened with their documentary where we saw an ex-convict who's been convicted for gold smuggling mm. talking and telling us about how he's doing what he's doing yes. and he even admits in one of the places that we will clean your money but the government of Zimbabwe and the governments of Dubai don't know that we're cleaning dirty money. Mm. That's the only legal thing that we're doing in, and these two governments don't know. He said it with his own mouth but he was drunk. He was drinking while he was saying this mm. thing. Then we've got the other gentleman who's a pastor, um, the Indian guy. He says he's got a license. He says that he's got a clearance for money laundering. And he speaks and says, we are part of the reason why the Zimbabwean economy is not crashing now and is doing better because of what we're doing with gold. Mm -hmm. Then we've got Hubert Angel. Hubert Angel is clearly a very flamboyant person. Yeah. He's got very flowery language. He believes that you can take 1.2 billion and put it in a suitcase and walk with that suitcase off an airplane. Yet mm -hmm. we all know that you need a truck to carry people 1.2 billion. People don't know. They need to be told. People don't think. People don't know what a billion looks like. They don't know what a billion looks like. Yes. A billion requires a truck. It's, it's, it requires even a, a two-ton truck to carry it. Why? Because it's a lot of money. Yeah. You can't carry it in a briefcase. The fact that Hubert Angel could say that is puffery. And the puffery that you saw Hubert Angel doing is typical of Zimbabweans. Mm. I've also seen black South Africans exactly the same. We, we exaggerate. We mm. lie. We, we say we know the president and mm. I can take you to the president tomorrow. Imagine how many times I've heard of people telling me that you're doing such a good job. We can take you to the president tomorrow. It never comes, never happens. I've even got top business people in Zimbabwe who have made me promises. Right now, our case, we've got a case in the courts of South Africa. Mm. The Americans have responded. We were promised huge money to back us up on this case. Mm. And the very same people that promised us those things with such flamboyant language, even encouraged us to start the case, are now backing off. It's the nature of people. Mm. Black people love to lie. They love to make promises they can't deliver on. And that's what's happening when I see our, our, our pastor speaking. He's just that guy. He speaks a lot. He talks 